Good morning, this is Dr. Lee with another episode of <clears throat> Derm Path Made Easy. Today's case is a pilometracoma. Uh, pilo means referring to the hair follicle. Matricoma is a benign tumor of the, the hair matrix. So I think that we should, <clears throat> whenever I look at these things, I'd like to look at what the hair, uh, the actual structures are. So this is a, a diagram of a hair, <clears throat> uh, hair follicle. This is your skin here. This is a hair shaft, and at the base, we have the hair matrix. And here it is on H&E, and you can see that these cells here are, are very basophilic, very blue in color. The hair matrix gives rise to the actual um, the hair shaft here, as well as the inner and outer root sheath. So these tumors are more common in younger people, but they can really occur at any age. And they're, they're you know, a skilled dermatologist can tell you what these things are, often because of the color. Uh, especially when it undergoes calcification, it feels kind of firm and, you know, it may appear kind of yellow and chalky. But uh, this diagnosis rests on a few things. Um, out here, you can see along the outside edge, we have this basaloid rim, um, these blue cells. And then towards the center, we have this pilomate, pilometrical uh, keratinization. So as these cells proliferate, and you can see here along the outside. And as once they become keratinized, this is what happens in here. It loses its nuclei, and it has these characteristic pale or, or sort of uh, the shadow of old cells. So these cells here are called shadow or ghost cells. Again, that's shadow or ghost cells. You can see them here too. They're the remnants of these cells here, the basaloid cells of the hair matrix after undergoing keratinization but it leaves this little remnant of sort of a, the shadow of a cell. The, the one important thing that we should note here is that, you know, I was discussing earlier that you can see some calcification sometimes near the center. Um, and also you can frequently have out in this corner, I believe, uh, multinucleated giant cell tissue reaction, especially when this keratin material gets out into the, the actual dermis. Here you can see that it's sort of a well-circumscribed uh, nodule. These are typically in the, you know, mid to deep dermis. Um, and one diagnostic pitfall that I would like to actually share with y'all is, so this basaloid rim here, um, this lesion actually doesn't look so bad, but I've seen this basaloid rim be extremely primitive. And you can see we have like crowding of cells here and some sort of normal mitotic figures. And here's another one here. This is a diagnostic pitfall on fine needle aspirate of neck lesions. So when you do a fine needle aspirate of a lesion in the neck, um, these, these uh, basaloid cells along the rim are frequently P16 positive. And we all know that we use P16 as sort of a surrogate marker for uh, high risk HPV. So the diagnostic pitfall that I hope that nobody ever commits is that you aspirate these basaloid cells, they look very atypical and you throw a P16 on it and it ends up being positive. Um, but recognize that that is a possibility here and because we know that we're less likely to make that error. So to summarize, this is a pilometricoma. It's a benign tumor derived from the hair matrix and it's characterized by a fairly well circumscribed nodule that's present in the mid to deep dermis. Um, it, sometimes you'll be able to find this basaloid rim and sometimes the basaloid rim is all that you find. Um, some of the features of it is the, the basaloid cells are gonna be somewhat primitive because they're pr proliferative and uh, they're, they're actively making this material, this keratinization in here. And once, once it becomes keratinized, you lose the basaloid cells and instead you get this sort of ghosting or shadow of the prior cell. These tumors can fairly uh, be, be frequently calcified as you see here and Occasionally, you're going to be able to find some multinucleated giant cell tissue reaction, especially if it gets into the dermis. Um, th these will be beta-catenin. The basaloid rim will be beta-catenin positive, and uh, P16 is usually positive in many of these tumors, leading to a diagnostic pitfall. Thank you very much for tuning in today. And